Hey, Trace. What's up? Did you just huff me? You had hash browns for breakfast, what? didn't you? Oh, no, home fries. And you had a really successful date last night. Good job, buddy. How do you know that? <sighs> Love smells. Hey, love bugs, it's Natalia for D News. If Trace and I were, say, dogs, then I could probably glean all that information just from a whiff of his sweet peachy keister. In the words of an old friend, the butthole is the information superhighway of dogs. But frankly, I prefer the internet. Yep, it's no secret that non human animals rely heavily on their olfactory senses to find food and discover love. Well, at least for the night. But what exactly is the science behind stinky animal attraction? A myriad of animals ranging from insects to mammals to marine life use pheromones to communicate with one another, including when they're feeling <clears throat> amorous. Pheromones are chemical secretions emitted by a species intended for other members of their species that affect their behavior and physiology. There are two types of pheromones, primers and releasers. Primers affect an animal's physiological development. For instance, the presence of a queen bee and her pheromones suppress the activation of ovaries in other worker bees, rendering them sterile. Releaser pheromones, on the other hand, affect animal behavior. Moths, nature's pheromone junkies, lack noses but have incredible scent-sensitive antennae. Female moths emit their volatile sex hormones that males pick up and eagerly follow until they find their mothy mistress. Pheromones are like the ultimate DTF message of the animal kingdom. And pheromones can be used for more than just sexy signals. They can mark territory, warn of aggression, and leave a trail like dropping stinky crumbs. Animals can distribute said pheromones using urine, feces, sweat, and saliva. But when it comes to finding sexual partners, animals emit pheromones that can lure mates, repel mates, or upset nearby competing mates. For instance, meadow voles have such an astute sense of smell, they can actually huff out preferred virgin female voles versus those females who have had multiple partners. Sex smells. Let's take lobster lovemaking, for example. A female lobster will spray her pheromones into the den of a male lobster days before she molts. He will let her in, and after she molts, he will mate with her soft-shelled body. He was sold, hook, line, and stinker. But just as pheromones can lure a lover, they can also drive competing mates away, like in the case of male fruit flies. Once these suave male suitors finish doing the deed, they transfer a chemical called 7-trichocene onto their lady friend to mark her and keep competing mates at bay, literally marking their territory. But back to finding love. Now that two animals have emitted their love musk and found each other, how do they make a discerning decision? As it turns out, pheromones are not the only scent-based signals animals emit that affect mate selection. Studies show that every individual has their own unique odor print that is determined by their major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. The MHC is an important set of immune system genes. Think of an odor print like a pungent fingerprint, and like fingerprints, no two are the same. Individuals with dramatically different MHCs are more likely to have fitter offspring because the MHCs are like an index for how different their genes are. MHCs allow an individual to huff out those genetically similar to them. As most animals would be repelled by their sibling, cousin, or parent due to their similar odor print, this is a built-in way to cut down on inbreeding. Man, if Luke and Leia only had stronger odor prints, Whew. So animal attraction is real, but instead of swiping right, they give it a whiff and see where it goes. The way to nature's heart is through its nose. We can't do D News without our sponsors. Thanks to K Jewelers for sponsoring this episode. For 100 years, every kiss begins with K. What do you think? Have you ever fallen in love with someone's smell or been repulsed by it? Tell us in the comments below. Do you wish you could huff out a good mate? What if I told you you could? Check out this video about how humans are also affected by pheromones when looking for love.